three. Broccoli, and then we have some fresh cut cubed chicken. You can spread that all out, make sure there's no big chunks anywhere. You want everybody to get a bite of chicken and a bite of broccoli every single time. And freshly chopped white onion, right on top, all around. And again, spread that out. You don't want anyone to get any big bites of onion. But you still want every bite to have some of that onion. That looks perfect. Make sure there's no gaps. Some buffalo wing sauce. This is what makes the magic, you guys. Just drizzle this right on top. I like a lot. I like this extra spicy. You could do a little bit more. If you like it super spicy, go for it. Just gonna give it a little shake so it all seeps down in there. Mm. Perfect. Cheese, this is everyone's favorite. Here I just have a mix of mozzarella and cheddar. Normally I wouldn't do cheddar on a pizza, but when we're doing a chicken bacon ranch pizza. I'm sorry, did you just say pizza? Did oh, you just give it away? Did you not realize that we're making pizza In a here? Skillet? Look at this. I promise this is gonna amaze you. I just made another one with lots of veggies and regular <gasps> meats. And so I thought, why not do a chicken bacon ranch one? It's my favorite kind of pizza anyway. Wait, where's the ranch? You'll see, we're gonna make some. Go ahead and move that out of the way. Bring in a bowl and a tub of sour cream. I'm just gonna squeeze all of that into my bowl. That's so satisfying. Isn't it? And then we just have some Hidden Valley Ranch Packets. Oh. This is how we're making that homemade ranch. Dump that entire packet into there. And that's made to be in sour cream? You can put it in sour cream, you could put it in cream cheese, wow. depending on how thick you want it. I didn't know that. Just like that and give that a good mix and now i do like a little bit of extra onion powder on this so i'm just going in with about a teaspoon of onion powder and now this is a little bit thick for a sauce so i'm just gonna go in with a splash of water and we're just looking for a little bit thinner of a consistency consistency just so we can give it a nice spread on our pizza. Go with a little bit more. Just like that. Be very gentle until this all combines and it's nice and thin, just like a pizza sauce. And this is that consistency you're looking for, just so it's a lot easier to spread and you don't disturb any of that pizza. Bring back in that pizza and I'm just gonna start dolloping this on there all around my pizza. Do as much or as little as you like, but remember, this is a deep dish pizza, so although it might look like a lot, you're gonna need a lot of that sauce so that it tastes, so that all the flavor is in every single bite. So is this instead of using like a marinara pizza sauce? Yeah, exactly. Oh, it's like a substitute, like a white sauce. A but white like sauce, but it's ranch. That's cool. See how we're disturbing that cheese? It's not that big of a deal, but we want to go very gently just to avoid that as much as possible. But remember, it's all going to bake together, so a little disturbing is no big deal. Now I'm leaving those edges where my crust is going to be, so that's all right. And now normally I'd go in with some oregano, but because we're doing chicken bacon ranch, we're going in with that Montreal chicken seasoning. I like to season twice. First, we're going to do it within that sauce. What's so special about Montreal? I just like this seasoning blend. I don't know, I always put it on my chicken, so I figured why not put it on my chicken bacon ranch? And now we're almost done. Look at how good this is looking, you guys. That white sauce is looking perfect. And now we're just coming in with some refrigerated pizza dough. You could make your own from scratch. Ooh, that was a good pop. You can make your own from scratch if you want. This is just easier and I think it tastes absolutely delicious. But if you have a pizza dough recipe that you like, let me know and we'll give it a try. Go ahead and unroll that in your pizza. And first we're just gonna place it. And then we're gonna use our hands and just start spreading this all around. Oh. Trying to cover everything. Make sure your hands are nice and washed when you're doing this, at least 30 minutes prior to cooking. And then once it's spread, you're gonna take those fingers again and start tucking oh. all the way around. Tuck, tuck, tuck. We want those edges to really get that crust on it. Tuck, 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 all the way around. That's so satisfying. It looks like it feels good. And then again with that Montreal seasoning right on the crust. Just like that. 
this is just so everyone gets a nice flavorful bite instead of some bland pizza crust. I know it looks like a lot, but this is all gonna bake into that crust and be delicious. And that is it, you guys. And we're gonna take it on over to our oven, preheated to 350 degrees, and just put that entire skillet into that oven and bake until it's golden brown. Let's see. Oh, look at that, you guys. All right, take it on over. And now here's the tricky part. Every single time, I gotta flip it. Oh, like this. All right, ready? Flip test. One, two, th three. Okay, we flipped. Let's see if we can get it out. Give it a little pat. One, two, three. Whoa. Look at that. Oh, that smells so good. Look at that, it's a pizza. Give it a cut. Wow, perfect crust. Let's get our taste tester a little slice. Give him a big slice. That's like a medium sized slice. He's a growing boy. Gotta save some for everyone else. All right, let's see, does it stay together? Oh, wow, that, it looks like a little quiche. Look at that. That's Look so how perfect cute. that is. <gasps> okay, let's get our taste tester in here. Hey, Colton. Yes. I've got your favorite. Ooh, is it pizza? It's pizza, you already knew. Oh, wow. All right, give us a taste test. It's gonna, you like spicy, right? Yeah. Can well, you spicy. pick it up? Can you pick like, up the slice? Oh. <gasps> oh, good crust. That's Very good, good crust. crust. Mm -hmm. Very good crust. And I made right. it crispier this time. I crispy? took your note. All right. Crispier you. crust. All right, and it's buffalo chicken. Buffalo chicken with a little veggies. Got to add a little bit yeah, of, no, but fair. it's broccoli. You can barely taste it. Yeah, get the whole food pyramid. All right, uh, cheers. Oh, that was a good bite. Is it hot? Mm -mm. No, it's perfect. Okay, good. That's really, really good. Yeah? What would you rate it? Honestly, nine and a half, ten, like right there. Okay, right well, there. I, I think I know what was going to make it a 10, but what would you say? Probably like ranch to dip in it. I don't know. There's ranch on it. So more, more ranch. ranch. I love ranch. More, more ranch. ranch. Maybe cold ranch because this is hot ranch because it was in there. So yeah. add some cold ranch at the end. Yeah. Nice. I'll take it. Nine out of five. A cold ranch drizzle? 